Welcome to Mr. Brazil's uh, Physics. We've been studying for AP Physics this week, and one of my students pulled out a question from a test book that was really interesting, and I thought I'd demo and uh, try to explain the problem. It's pretty interesting. So it's a two-wheel system with an axle in the middle, and there's a force tugging at the axis. And two of these answers give you a correct answer, meaning that the wheel will turn to or go to the right and not to the left. And so many of you may have been taught the right hand rule, where if you apply a force, it's going to hit it perpendicular, the wheel's going to turn to the left. This one, so this one looks like it's going to the left. If you look at this one, we've got a force going upward, and sure enough, it looks for sure it's going to be going to the left. And this particular problem, we do have this kind of like right angle position, and sure enough, we're going to have a force, a torque, going to the left. And then sure enough, the very last question, you got a nice right angle, but your, your torque is towards the middle, and your force is going to go to the right, and sure enough, this goes to the right. So this is one of the correct answers. But the one that seems not to be the correct answer is this one. It is correct. It actually will turn the wheel to the right, and I'll demo that behavior. What's interesting here is the force, the axis, the center of axis, and where the force is at is directly above the fulcrum. Let me just put a different color for that so that you can see it. Uh, it is directly above the point of rotation. And sure enough, the wheel actually gets a little tug, meaning that it's going to tip over to the right and roll onward to the right. Over here, what you have is a slight uh, the position of the force is slightly off from the center of rotation, therefore you're going to have a torque that will spin the wheel to the left, right above the fulcrum. And the same thing will happen here, which I mentioned earlier, if you go to the center of axis, you're going to have a nice 90 degree and a nice pull upward, which will rotate the wheel above the fulcrum. We're at the point of contact on the surface and the wheel rolls to the left. While here you get also a nice right angle to the center of axis, but in this case, much like this problem, you have the fulcrum right above the center of axis and you're gonna get the force turning the wheel to the right. Okay, well let's see this in action. So what I've done is I have attached uh, two cups together to make a nice little center axis and two large wheels and let's see how this all works out So first of all, let's model this one. We're going to see that the wheel is going to turn to the left And sure enough, it goes to the left not right Okay, so we'll go straight up And there it goes to the left now let's turn this around And this is the very last one, which is a correct answer, and there it goes to the right. Pretty cool. Well, let's make it even cooler. So here it is. The line is horizontal. Ah, it went right. Let's make this a little longer and see if that's just an optical illusion of some sort. Here we go again. I'm going to pull. And here, sure enough, it is going to the right. So what we're getting, like I mentioned earlier, the axis of rotation is right here in the center, so it's giving it a little tug, which pushes it slightly to the right and gets the wheel start rolling to the right direction. Thanks. I hope you enjoy this. Give me a thumbs up.